Hello my friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Without any further ado, let's just start journaling today. It's Sunday, it's a not so bad day actually, but not that warm to be outside. So I thought I'm gonna jump into my studio and just do a little bit of art journaling with the leftovers that I have here on the desk. You don't really see it, but if I just bring it closer, here it is, some leftovers from my previous projects. And instead of cleaning them up, I decided to just use it away. Um, I have some packaging as well, as long, uh, along with some uh, papers, some other papers. So definitely, I'm gonna do that. I will get some of my print stick. No plan here, guys. No plan. Literally trying to use some leftovers. How about, Marta, if you change your composition to not what you usually do? So I'm going to concentrate on, on here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do it a little bit different. So I'm going to focus keeping my mm, composition maybe a little different this time. How about if I'll do... Oops. That's okay. How about if we concentrate the composition on one side, but also a little bit on, on here? Something a little different. So I'm just ripping apart papers. Not much of a thinking here going on. And I do have as well this leftover paper, which is coordinating with this. So we may just add that here. So we have kind of like a heaviness here and lightness here and I'm trying to coordinate both sides with the same similar elements so let's say we can add some paper here as well as paper here here it is so leftovers project leftovers um, art journaling page use what you have around you guys and I'm just building a little bit of composition just to see what's going on, what's happening here, what can I do, how can I change things around. I do have as well this gorgeous tea bag, leftover tea bag, which could be super nice if we, let's say, use it how about here a little bit. Oopsie. So something like that, nice. And let's grab some of that tea bag and put it here as well. I, I may need a little bit more glue. Oh, there we go. How nice is that? I love that. I haven't prepped my page yet. I may still do that, of course. So I'm gonna add a little bit of gesso in a second. Transparent gesso, white gesso. Oh, that's okay. We shall see. We shall see. There we go. I love that. I love that. Now, I do have some bit of that pinkish paper. So, this could certainly, oopsie, go around here. That pink, why not? Especially that, look, this pink will coordinate with the <laughs> stains that I had from my previous project from underneath it here. From the live class if you haven't watched it you have to see it it's a it was a live on my youtube channel i'm doing lives from time to time now so please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss it and we're meeting live i give you um, a list of supplies that you may need and we try to really create together spend some nice time together online on the live show on the live stream so i think it's fantastic Okay, here we go, there we go, here we go, there we go. I may just use a little bit of that as well back back again here. Okay, my glue is finishing, I can, <laughs> I can see that happening, maybe here, and a bit of there maybe. <clears throat> or somewhere else, I don't know. How about... How about even different than just going here? Lovely, jovely. I like that. Okay. Now I think I'm going to get my transparent gesso and just go over with 
brush and just brush it off, brush it over a little bit everywhere. So, especially my papers. So this way I will kind of like prep everything for any sort of medium work that I may have in a minute. I have no clue what I'm going to add, but I think we're going to go for really something simple, kind of delicate coloring. I like to keep maybe this white be white for a change, more or less white. <laughs> maybe not so fully, but more or less white. So here is some art journaling where, or maybe how about some texture paste? Maybe that would be nice to add a little bit of texture paste. Let's do that. Let's get some stenciling. Let's get some stenciling and let's get some texture paste. Or if you are using maybe heavy gesso, that could be working as well. Let me get some, let me get some stencil. Back to you. I have the stencil, uh, but I just feel that would be good to maybe add something under my page. Oh, there we go. And let's get some white here. Before I do that, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just go over with a touch of gesso in few places, like like this, you know? So no really just touches like kind of in a way blending things. There we go. I like that. So really mm-hmm. And then let's get some stenciling happening. And da, da, da. there we go. Love that. And I'm gonna go opposite to it here. Why not? Oops, come on, gesso, come on, texture paste. Jump in here. And Purposely, I'm having some parts of full words and some are not gorgeous. So let's try that. My pages are dry. I have my woodies. If you don't know them yet, you do have to check them out. Stabilo Woody 3 in 1 fantastic set of colors. Those are really great products to work with something different. So I encourage you to try. I'm gonna just go where the lines are just so that I have a little bit of uh, like, I don't know. A little bit of definition here I guess and some um, just to show where the elements are that kind of when I'm starting from my brightest color which is probably your easiest start and I need a little bit of brush and a little bit of wadi and that will be great if I let's say take this brush maybe and start slowly with just moving my pigment from that woody Stabilo, which is fantastic. I love, love, love. Now, if you're not going to prime your page, you may have troubles to move the pigment. So be very careful about that. You can go directly with the Stabilo Woody on your page, like I just have done now. Or, like I'll show you now, you can also go like this and get pigment from your actual crayon, which is fine as well. You can do this this way as well. Mm -hmm. So we have this pinkish peachy salmon color. Let's go to this pink which is much more bright. Why not? Why not? To see especially that as I said it's kind of in the similar books to what we have here. I still wish to keep it vintage I guess so a little bit of both. Let's get a little bit of that brown and see what's going on with the brown. Mm -hmm. The brown could be a nice addition, I don't know yet. Oh, how cute! Already moving, moving, moving. So, <clears throat> so I'm taking some pigment down and then we're gonna add some black because I like to have a black definition with black. And this kind of helps me to bring me more con contrast to my work, you know? So here it is. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
you can help yourself with moving your page upwards as you can see and what I love now is that we have this great whitish background so a lot can be can be seen you know I like that isn't it nice and delicate smooshy smooshy <laughs> nice and smooshy smooshy so we have our texture now standing out more so we can do similar thing here so this is helping us the dark color helps to enhance the and chase the white the white uh, text for sure you may help yourself with spray of wadi here and there if you're new to my channel wadi is a word which means water it's water and voda in polish joined together which Hannah my two-year-old <laughs> just created and it just stuck to me so much that I guess I'm saying wadi rather than water <laughs> So look at that, how beautiful that moves and how gorgeous that is right now. Gorgeous is another word that I discovered myself and just <laughs> and I'm just loving it. So yeah, I have a lot of what words like that, <laughs> I guess. You may want to have a little bit of that brown correspondence here as well, but no stress if you have it less or that's okay. And time for black. Now don't be scared of black. Black is your friend, I promise you. Black is your friend. You know? Every time I think about black, there is this song, Irish song. Black is the color. Oh, da, 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 da. Many times I've mentioned that on my videos. Um, if I remember... Oh, more. Um, more is his surname. I think... Black is the color of my sweet eyes, something, something. Beautiful song. Check it. Black is the color. I'm sure you find the gentleman singing with the guitar. Uh, love that song. I think it's Casey Moore, is it? Let me Google for it. Mm, yes, I was kind of near, right? Chrissy Moore, Black is the color beautiful song please have a listen and there is the version of when he sings it on the concert amazing amazing really nice I love it when you leave your paper what your work like that and it sinks in itself the color you get nice stain so it's nice to sometimes even leave it naturally to dry or leave it to just see what happens and where the color will transfer itself you know I think that's good and don't be afraid of woodies and don't be afraid of black. Look how beautiful that is and how easily it is to actually play around with it. I think it's absolutely sensational. I love that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Super. Wow. Same for here. I would love a little bit of more pigment maybe jumping in beautifully <clears throat> so let's help it a little bit with wadi with brush and I see that girls are coming back okay wow what do you think a little bit different something a little bit different which I think it's just great to do just great to try out so and I really really like that so a little bit more black and that's all fine I guess there we go I think we can finish it that to be honest I'm gonna dry it because I don't want to overdo it I don't want you know sometimes less is more it's not easy to stop it but let's let's stop here let's dry that mm, I'm thinking like never why don't I just try to draw something I'm gonna try to draw some flower just to see if I if I'm able to actually paint something that is maybe directly on my page you know I don't know I'm gonna just try and see sorry for the noises Emily uh, came back and Hannah probably wanted to stay <laughs> outside still I think as far as I can hear it <laughs> 
that happens, isn't it, with the kids? Mm -hmm. I think maybe I can make this a little bit bigger, something like that. I love it. Okay, let's do a little bit of coloring. And I'm gonna be coloring like never. <laughs> I will use my there's my my um what's the word? My um my crayon here. Look oh, I'm here just to have a little bit of fun, not really concentrated concentrating too much on the technique or anything like that, you know, just a little bit of practice and f having a little bit of fun. I may just do something like that here as well since I think it would be just nice to maybe have it on both sides some sort of flowerito you think? Maybe, maybe baby, why not? And maybe have a little bit of uh, maybe something like this here. I think I should be more courageous about trying out and really just not being afraid to even doodle directly on my page. Same for drawing faces, you just should have more faith I guess in your abilities guys. I encourage you to <laughs> to think this way. So here it is. Now the paper obviously it's not perfect for doodle drawers or anything like that but I think you can try it at least you know. I'm gonna get a little bit of pink here as well. Touches of that pinkish pink. Mm -hmm. So I can hear the girls being outside. <laughs> I will of course doodle afterwards on it so this definitely will help to keep my painting more visible for you guys. This is only a rough quick sketch, you know, just to have rather than sticking out some sticker for a change, trying to do something myself. So that's the idea, you know, that's, that's the idea guys. I encourage you to try same. <laughs> I encourage you to try the same. So yeah, something along these lines. I love that actually. The uh, the ink is sinking in a lot of it because of the actual uh, not so proper paper and the fact that this is uh, not a watercolor pigment. But I'm okay with that. I really, I am just doodling, googling, doing things for myself, and I encourage you to try absolutely the same. Let's dry this. And my pages, hmm, painting is pretty much dry so I'm gonna go for a little bit of doodling. Oh well this that I want to write as well so I might get something different. Maybe this one will be better. You know, as I said, it's a more than anything a rough sketch that I just sketched here and just to I think I didn't add much of a pigment here. <laughs> I think I didn't see that um that petal. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. <clears throat> Okay, and here is another one. Doing the, the thing upside down is a little bit strange, so I may just uh, <laughs> change my position here for the drawing. Mm -hmm. I love that all. I love that all, and I think it's fabulous. I'm just looking if, if we're still recording what... Yes, we are! <laughs> mm -hmm. 
some of my papers are still wettish so that doesn't help for sure this should be really dry before anything but, but of course I'm just too always too excited to to art <laughs> so oops so I'm just jumping my with my gun is that the thing jumping in with my gun and so so I'm just doodle, doodling away um I by the way here is the kind of flower that I have been teaching you on my membership uh, video. You, if you're not a member yet on the channel, you may have a full video tutorial on this. And actually also the, if I can find it, oh yes, there it is, the journal page that was created, presented with it. <clears throat> Here it is. Oh, actually, sorry, it's upside down. <laughs> so if you wish to jump in and have a look at my my uh, membership uh, option on the channel, please do. I invite you to do so. Uh, more in-depth tutorial regards this doodles. So please have a look if you wish. And yes, membership is a new option that I'm still learning myself. And many of you have joined, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for for being with me in that journey. So here it is. Cute little sketch, I think it's just nice. So mm -hmm. And the membership, all levels are different in the very for the videos and and for the live extra live shows, you can jump in from five or ten. Um, so please feel free to check it. You know. Wow, so beautiful. Hello, flower. You are absolutely gorgeous. So now, love, love, love you. Super, isn't it? Beautiful. So here it is. I think I may be just <laughs> starting to um, enjoy my my hand design m m even more now. <laughs> so oh, this is still wet. I invite you. I encourage you to try your own things. You know. I think this makes us happier even more. <laughs> I really have to dry this pad. Because it doesn't want to write because it's wet, so maybe now that's it. Mm -hmm. And links for the membership, if you wish to have a look, is under the video in the description box. As other links as well. So yeah, check it out. Check it out. You have uh, the chance to ask me th questions on the live more because there's less people. You have a chance to decide what I will create for you guys. So I think it's a nice extra option for people if they want to be part of it but it's only an option not an obligation or a must I still as you can see I'm making free videos free content as I always did so nothing is changing there I'm just trying to have this more colored for uh, the, this petal you know I think it could be colored even more so that it won't stand out that much. I think Lucas is finishing some jar. I don't know, maybe a jam. Sorry for <laughs> the noises. So funny. You guys are so funny, isn't it? <laughs> we can still hear you, Lucas. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what... Kubi Nutella, guys. Kubi Nutella. He always says that, Emily, you ate all the Nutella. Which, in fact, he does. <laughs> K. 
can you imagine it like literally he does so yeah I love it not technical uh, maybe it's not a technical flower but you know what I think it's fine I think it's okay I think it works magic and I I love it wow okay are we done here or what we could do a little bit of um, doodling away as well in places but I just don't want this to be too much or something so I may just go a little bit little touches of those doodles you know why not wow I have came I came to the studio for a quick little video and it turned to this amazing page so yes you could do me a favor and share this video with your friends that would be amazing thank you in advance um, yeah because by sharing it you helping out to spread the word helping my videos to be seen by more people and that is awesome so thank you so okay I think I'm done here except one little thing which could be amazing to add a little bit of title so let me look through my titles of course since I love them so very much and maybe the teensy teensy one ha freedom I love them all don't stay within the lines imagine believe a dreamer I'm gonna go for dreamer this time oh I think I went for dreamer last time as well didn't I yes I did so no I'm gonna <laughs> go for something else um, make it happen I like that saying as well make it happen maybe here why not make it happen rise and shine if I can take it those are the stickers from my store if you wish to have a look those are designed by me so please feel free to check them out don't stay within the lines attitude determines success I like that so yes there we go okay wow do you know what? I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't do two things, which is teensy teensy touches of some color towards my stickers just so I have it like, you know, it's not a separated element from the page. I like always kind of comes in with some color. Okay. There we go. It just no longer that singular. Then I wouldn't be myself without adding white splashes white splashes Marta is known for a few things <laughs> one of them would be white splashes you must agree with me isn't it so we're doing white splashes now because why not white splashes always works for me I love 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 them so here it is wow we Now I'm thinking that we could add a little white things here in the flower itself. Why not? And here as well. Even more. Okay. We are gonna be finishing here, my sweet darling friends. Ah! Wow, I love this so much. So here it is, our doodle no-cost art journaling with leftovers. I really hope you liked it and enjoyed it. It was a pleasure for me to come in here Sunday morning and do a little bit of uh, art journaling with you. Some doodles, some, um, you know, sketching, painting, freedom of art journaling. It's your page, it's your design, it's your book whatever you wish to put it here it's up to yourself so please always remember that don't stay within the lines just draw outside of them do whatever you like however it feels good for your soul I encourage you to try open that book and start 
Um, <laughs> that's very Sunday morning uh, speech, isn't it? <laughs> okay, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me know what you think about this pretty nice page. Well, at least I love it. I would love to hear your opinion. And I hope you will try to doodle a little bit. That would be fantastic. Till the next time, happy crafting. I love you loads, but I have to go. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Actually, I'm back just to show you something else. As I was saying, if you wish to have a little bit of more knowledge about, look at those flowers, about some um, painting flowers, I encourage you to check my membership link below the video. Join to my membership. It would be so amazing if you could support my YouTube channel this way. Any other way is fantastic too. Any comments, likes and support on my regular videos are amazing as well. Sharing them on your social media is equally important and amazing. And thank you in advance. But look at that. Uh, yes. I just love it and I couldn't be more proud of it, I have to say. And I've, I'll show you a sneak peek, which maybe is on the channel or not, I don't know. A, pay, a, a card, no cost card made with this. I only recorded that yesterday, so by the time watching this, this one is probably on the channel. I don't know. I don't know. I've recorded four videos yesterday, one video today. I'm really, really trying to record in advance to have a little bit extra time for new papers and new other things so yeah thank you i love you and i'm definitely going now bye bye bye